Last time around, we talked a little bit about Fortress Worlds, how delightfully impenetrable they are, extremely difficult to overcome, however, you can bypass them with the delights of jump drives. And there must be something that we can do to overcome this, right? There must be something better that we can do in order to do this, because as much as we would love Kadia to stand and not break before the guard does or vice versa, there is better ways of dealing with this. And that is, of course, introducing the wonders of the Maginot world. Yes, well, the Maginot world is what you get when you take somebody from the Gigastructural Engineering team and make them go completely batshit insane and you end up with this. Yeah, this is the Magino world. How do you build one, and how strong is it? Well, let's let's put that into perspective here. Uh, this thing has almost 60,000 armies on top of it. Uh, it is essentially impenetrable, and on top of that, it has a little modifier that allows you to, oh, I don't know, uh, disable any sort of jump drive within your territory. It will cost you a certain amount of energy a month, but nobody's going to go anywhere anytime soon, and they will have to go through this here monstrosity. So how do we actually build one of these? Well, I have uh, prepared a little planet over here called Not the Ardent that I will use in to basically show how you can build one of these. Let's dive in, shall we? So in order to pull this off, first we're going to need to download the Gigastructural Engineering mod from the workshop. Don't be too shy, it's uh, an amazing little mod that will really throw yourself into the future because of all the insane stuff that it has. Secondly, we're going to need to pick a tradition, specifically unyielding, because picking unyielding allows us to build the Maginot world, or specifically get the research option of the ultimate strong point to defense theory. The yeah, answer so the modders for this particular one are a little bit wordy on things, but once we have all of that, we can get the technology to build said Magino world. So let's go and do exactly that. Once we have the prerequisite technology, we'll have the ability to build a special little building on the planet called the Magino Fort complex. But Imaginal 4 complex does a couple of very interesting things. First of all, it gives you some army modifiers, basically making any army that is built on this planet completely and utterly ridiculous. Plus, the bombardment damage on a planet will be reduced by 25%. And on top of that, we get the Imagino Defense Commander plus one. Now, the Imagino Defense Commander is, in this particular case, a specialist who will generate a bunch of bonuses. For 10 energy and about one alloy, you will get a additional army per pop, but you also get a bunch of naval capacity. This is very interesting, but it's not really the best part of this type of thing. No, because for the next step in our little project, we are going to need to build the actual Maginot line itself. Because the Maginot line can only be built that on a place that has the Maginot defense perimeter on it, uh, we're actually going to need to be pretty careful with these sort of things because, well, as I mentioned, you can only build these wherever you have the aforementioned structure. So, at a cost of 100 influence, 5,000 unity, and 5,000 alloys, you too can be the proud owner of a Maginot complex, and it will be built, and you will have all the bells and whistles that you could ever desire. Now, as soon as the construction site is set up, you will be presented with the following. All districts on this planet will be replaced with unique defensive ones and managing of planetary defense platforms will become available. This is all done in a special screen. However, there is also the ability to blow up the entire planet and annihilate any ships in orbit in case of colony destruction. So yeah, if somebody decides to bombard this place, you're going to be running into some serious problems. Of course, you will need to upgrade this to again to the next level. You'll have a bit of an upkeep here of 5 to 5, but for another 5,000 minerals and 5,000 and for those 15,000 alloys, you'll be able to get the internals up and running and you will be able to get your initial Maginot world. However, you may have noticed that it is not complete yet because, well, there is still a little bit more, more work to do because for yet another in fact, injection of 10,000 energy, 20,000 minerals, 5,000 unity, and another 30,000 alloys. This is Gigastructural Engineering we're talking about. You will be able to commit your, uh, complete your Maginot world, which can, uh, yeah, uh, 
have a fail safe in place that can destroy every single thing in system. Now, the Maginot world by itself is already pretty darn ridiculous because it has a bunch of rather interesting abilities, such as the Strategic Defense Command building that is basically immediately plopped on top of said thing. And uh, yeah, it is a bunch of mammalian uh, juggernauts slapped together with a bunch of ion cannons, and also, from what I can see, a bunch of reptilian stuff. Plus a wonderful little mismatch of other things that are uh, coming around here. But yes, Not the Ardennes is definitely sitting right next to uh, Maginot Hunschbach, and uh, it's probably going to have a good time. So what can we do beyond this point? Maginot World spawn with brand new districts, and there are four of them. First of all, there's the Barracks District, the Shield Generator Array, the Orbital Defense Grid, and finally the Bunker Complex. And every one of these does some unique stuff. The Barracks Districts, for instance, generate something called a Maginot Military Police Jump, which basically increases the amount of defensive armies on planet by the amount of pops that are available. There is the Shield Generator Array, which generates the new uh, Generator Operators, which essentially will give us brand new points for every single job that is available for here. For this, we will generate a Maginot Defensive World Upgrade Point. We'll get into that shortly. And then there's the Orbital Defense Grid Point, which will give us offensive upgrade points. And then finally is the Bunker Complex, which will give us more Maginot Defense Commanders, which will generate stability and a whole slew of other things. The most important important part of these are the shield generator array and the orbital defense grid. Why are these so important? Well, if we go to our decisions, we will find that there is a very large list of special things that we can do, some of which are rather interesting, like construct a orbital arcology, which will give us even more of these here districts. However, the more interesting ones are, of course, the Maginot orbital targeting system, the Maginot upgrade firepower, the orbital protective systems, and finally, the point values where we can see exactly what kind of bonuses are applied. So let's take a look here. Let's build ourselves a Maginot upgrade def defensive system. Basically what will happen here is that all of the ships will get additional points of bonuses in system, which is now already pretty darn good because plus 500 daily hull regen as well as armor and shield in the same category is kind of crazy if we do for instance something in the uh department of mass recruitment we will get a uh even bigger amount of assault armies on this planet which is rather crazy considering of how powerful they are we could also spend points on additional asteroid artillery platforms. Yes, we can add additional artillery platforms to our starbase, as well as a whole bunch of other things that just improve weapon damage in general. And finally, as I alluded to earlier on in the video, is the wonderful world of the Maginot subspace disruption field, which basically means that all solar systems within one jump of the system that are owned by our empire will basically get a special modifier that stops any jump drive uses as well as subspace travel within those systems effectively shutting things down uh, this is essentially a huge huge roadblock which basically allows nothing to come in now what does this all translate to well it translates to several of these planet sized things that essentially are indestructible because this is almost a million fleet power of defense uh this one is probably so high that it has rolled over the integer and has gone back to one yes that is possible we have just generated 800 armies just out of nowhere here is an additional set of 100,000 fleet power here is cadia with an additional 60,000 fleet power and essentially we've created a world that is effectively impenetrable so good luck to all of these xenos that were trying to get through the back door earlier on in order to get through and of course Cadia stands at the same time then this because and it's completely uh, impenetrable as well because who would ever want to try to invade a place that has so many defensive armies on it so yes if you do want to have insane defenses and you want to try this out the link to Giga structural engineering will be in the top comment as well as in the description on below but yeah uh completely impenetrable uh, has a bunch of good jobs has a bunch of good mechanics and will do the job defending your capital worlds of course Kadia still stands here as well and it's completely impenetrable too because wait a minute oh no they've they've gone through belgium they've actually taken belgium and they're just they're gonna be able to jump over Cadia and straight onto Paris 
Ah, uh, no, we, we focused all of our defenses in the Maginot Line, and Paris is now going to be attacked through Belgium. What a disaster.